Dr. Francisco Contreras is one of the leading doctors, in, especially among Christians, that is helping to fight and win the war on cancer. His centers of Oasis of Hope in both Mexico and the United States are literally touching thousands and thousands of lives every year. Dr. Contreras, thank you for being with us. When people get the word cancer, they, in the United States, we're told all kinds of things, but primarily you hear radiation treatment, chemotherapy. Are these therapies that really work, are they the best therapies to work to treat cancer? They're definitely not the best. And, and uh, you know, if we're working on evidence-based medicine, as, as most oncologists will tell you, we would stop doing what we're doing because this year more people are gonna die from cancer than last year. So we, we have been a failure in, in, in that sense. But, you know, every, every element has its place, and it's not really the element, but when and how you use it. So at the Oasis of Hope, uh, we are what, what we call an integrative center. Many people believe that we're an alternative center, but we're not. We have all of the conventional therapies available and all of the non-conventional therapies available. And we're going to design the therapy for uh, depending on the needs of our patients. And there are some times when tumors are very aggressive where they reached uh, a, a point where we need to reduce the tumor in a very fast way. And chemotherapy and radiation therapy have proven to, to be effective in that sense. They don't prolong the life of patients, but you can reduce the size of a tumor significantly. So if you have a patient that has a tumor blocking the colon, you cannot give a proper diet that we know that is gonna be very helpful because the patient is blocked. It's, you know, that patient will die in a few days and uh, therapies that are alternative will take months to work. So we use the chemo or the radiation or the surgery to uh, uh, release that patient from that, from, from that life-threatening situation. Uh, and then we do the alternatives. I think that the problem right now is more philosophical. Uh, doctors in the conventional realm are attacking cancer by aiming all their efforts to the tumor. What really separates the Oasis of Hope from other centers is that our aim is not the tumor, our aim is the patient. So as long as we're able to provide resources for our patients to heal themselves, and this is a concept that is foreign to the conventional realm, because they do not believe that God actually fearfully and wonderfully made us. But I do believe in that. And so if I provide resources, then we can exploit God's design to heal cancer or control cancer. And even though all of, all of those therapies are available to us, we are very judicious in when we use chemo, radiation, or surgery, and when we use conventional, natural, non-toxic therapies. There is a lot of talk, a lot of buzz about stem cell therapy. And in Christian circles, it's kind of controversial from the standpoint of where are they getting these yes. stem cells. Yes. Do you do that? And I believe that we should never use stem cells from an embryo, because that's actually killing a person in order to help somebody else. But there is the autologous uh, 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 stem cell therapy, that is we obtain the the, the stem cells from the actual patient. They're their own cells, and then we activate them and give them back. For cancer, the results have been very poor. In, in our experience and in everybody else's experience, they're very good for Parkinson's disease, they're very good for arthritis, for, for many other elements, but not yet uh, uh, for cancer. So we are not using stem cell therapy against cancer at the moment, but we use it, this autologous, uh, 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 adult stem cells for many other diseases. I just throw you a question from the Bible. The scripture says, laughter does good like a medicine. Yes. Have you seen it work in, in helping people be treated for cancer? My father started laughter therapy in 1963, way ahead of his time. And it, it's, it's proven to be extremely effective. There are many studies that show that laughter will improve the quality and quantity of your immune system, and that's why it's so powerful. Children laugh over 400 times a day, and adults only about 40 times a day. We need to laugh more. That's why children can eat dirt and whatever and don't get sick, because they're pumping their immune system with laughter all the time. Laughter is an incredibly powerful tool against disease.
Is your focus then to work alongside with God's plan for our bodies and build it up so that the body itself, for the most part, can defeat cancer? Exactly. As, as I mentioned before, God gave us all the resources for us to maintain and regain our health. And so I, I, I'm designing more and more therapies to exploit that, uh, in the good sense, that uh, feature of our, uh, of our design. And it's the most powerful way to combat disease.